Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the updated version of Kinomod. With that being said, let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Let's go. So guys, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go in this website over here. You're gonna find the link in the description. And once you're here, guys, you gotta scroll down and click on uh, the first one and it will automatically start the download. And once the download is ready, we're gonna go and open our, our download folder. And guys, keep in mind, you need to have WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the files. If you still don't and don't know how to get it, I've made a video tutorial for that too. The link for that is gonna be in the description as well. That being said, I'm gonna right click, do 7-zip and click on extract here. And Bam, here we're gonna have our files. Now, what we gotta do, guys, is locate our game folder, which is typically gonna be in C. I'm gonna open another window and uh, you're gonna go on uh, Program X86, Steam, Steam Apps common and car x drift racing online it's our folder now what you're gonna do is super easy just take the two files we just extracted and drag and drop inside the car x drift racing online folder it's, go it's gonna ask us to replace it we're gonna replace it and bam we have installed kinomod correctly nice let's now start the game and see if it works so guys once we are in the game you're gonna see that we have the ksl menu that we're gonna close with f5 and with F4, we're gonna open our Kinomod. And right now there is the classic tutorial. I'm just gonna skip really quickly through it. And as you can see, we have our Kinomod working and that's how you install Kinomod. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind, if you had a Kinomod before, there is a, a little difference this time. For the old users, um, you probably know that there used to be a plugins folder, which was the folder you needed to put other mods in. Right now that folder disappeared. The new folder is called mods. So basically any mod you install you have to drag it and drop it inside mods so if you want to download uh, for example money mod it now goes inside mods folder and not anymore inside the plugins folder because as you can see there is no more plugins folder so keep this thing in mind with that being said that's pretty much it now guys i'm gonna show you how to import and export liveries and tunes so what you're gonna do if you want to save a tune you just go on tune and click on save current tune you can name it whatever you want blah 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 i'm gonna click okay same thing for the livery if we want to do it we go in visual and we go on save current design we give it a name livery and bam and now what we're gonna do guys is head over to the mods folder again and inside the mods folder you're gonna find the kn base folder we're gonna open it up and over here you're gonna see that there are the tunes and the visuals folder so guys if you want to share uh the livery and the tune we just saved all you gotta do is uh, go in tunes and send the file to your friend same thing uh go in visuals and send the file to your friend instead if you want to install um the files that your friend sent to you, like the livery, let's say this livery is the one your friend sent to you, you just drag and drop inside the visual and same thing for the tune, you drag and drop into tunes. And now here it comes guys, I have a Discord server which is full of um, liveries and tunes. If you wanna go and check it out, the link is gonna be in the description and the place you're gonna find the tunes is gonna be in the tunes share channel. Over here, as you can see, plenty of tunes you can try. Same thing for the liveries. Over here, plenty of liveries you can try. So let's say, we want to take the GT86 one. I'm going to download it. And we want to take the RX7 one, which is actually mine, but whatever. <laughs> you get the point. We're going to go now in the download folder. We're going to put the tune inside the tune folder and the livery inside the visual folder. So with that being said, now we head over to the game and go on load design and click to import the livery. We just put in inside the visuals folder. And what we're going to do now is add livery to Toyota GT86. And over here, you can see that we imported correctly wow. and now guys same thing with the tune we open up kinomod we click on tune and we click on load tune select the file from here and bam here is gonna say that the tune was successfully applied and here we go now guys last step is importing the maps which is the same uh same exact thing what you gotta do is go in the discord download any map uh, from the car X general channel peanut messages over here you can find more mods check it out if you wish to and in this case, we're just gonna download this map over here. Uh, don't worry guys, I uploaded all these files, so they're safe. Continue to download. And once we have our map downloaded, if it is a um, zip file like this one, this is a seven zip file, we're gonna have to extract it as well. And what we're gonna do guys is now head over to the mods folder once again. Inside there, you're gonna find KN base once again and maps folder, super easy guys. You just gotta drag and drop lockout point, which is the map we just downloaded inside the maps folder. and. And that's pretty much it. Now what you gotta do guys is head over to the game, go in multiplayer and click on Kino Roomless. Once you're here, what you gotta do is create a lobby with parking A map 
and get inside the lobby. So guys, once you're in the game, the only thing you gotta do is open again our Kino mod with F4. And what you gotta do is click on maps over here. And if you don't see your map in this list, just click on refresh maps list. And once it's gonna show up, you just click on it and boom, wait for it to uh, load. And once you're in, close Kino mod and start enjoying your map. So guys, with that being said, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. And if you did, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe because that definitely helps a lot. Don't forget to check out the merch. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace. And I'm out.